Today marks 365 days of owning my MetaQuest 2. Let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Then we will decide if the Quest 2 is still worth it in 2023. So first, the good. The MetaQuest 2 is a fairly durable device. I say fairly durable just because there are some dents and cracks, but that's mainly because I use this device specifically for weight loss, and me and my Quest have gone through some things. Shit. With that being said, as long as you're not punching walls or punching your headset, you should be good. You are also still able to get new updates and download all the new games available. This isn't like an iPhone where after a couple of years it's completely obsolete. You are still able to play all the same games and do all the fun things you wanted to do. And I think the most important thing is that this is a fun device. It's a great device for all ages. So that's from my little brother all the way to my grandmother. There is a game or application for everyone. If you're like me, you might want to use it for weight loss. If you're like my brother, you might want to use it more for gaming. And if you're like my mom, you might want to use it for work and productivity. I think we can all agree the Quest 2 is badass, but let's go to the bad. So to start off, the accessories it comes with are not the best. Specifically with the head strap, it is very uncomfortable. I was not able to really enjoy my quest until I got my own head strap and other accessories. And if you are looking for a really good head strap or other accessories like battery packs and things like that, I do have a link in the description. And to piggyback off that, the battery life is also not the best. You get about two to three hours of game time and if you want more, you will have to get one of those portable chargers or one of the head straps with the battery pack attached. Next, we have the price bump. If you're not familiar with this, a couple months ago, Meta decided to up the price of these Quest 2s. They upped it by $100. This makes sense, of course, because Meta was not really profiting off these headsets. They invested a lot of money into the metaverse and they were nowhere near breaking even, so I understand. But now the Quest is a little less accessible for others looking to get into VR. And then lastly, a new device is expected in 2023. So it's always hard to buy, you know, a new iPhone when you know a new one is coming in six months. We don't know exactly what the specs will be on the new 2023 devices, so that's kind of still up in the air. Now for the ugly. It's me. I am the ugly. So, for the moment of truth, is the Meta Quest 2 still worth it in 2023? Heck yes. If the price bump is what's stopping you, you can get one used on Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp or something like that. There are thousands of people that got the Quest, used it twice, and it's been collecting dust on their nightstand ever since. Also, with holidays right around the corner, this is a perfect time to get a good deal on one, whether that's Black Friday or if people are just looking to sell some stuff to get money for the holidays. This is the perfect time to buy one. And yeah, there will be some new Quest devices coming in the near future. Meta has said an upgraded model will be unveiled sometime in 2023. I'm not sure if that's still the case with all the layoffs and the current market we're living in now. But even if there is a new device coming in about a year, why wait? Why wait when you can get something now that will scratch your virtual reality itch? I will definitely be getting the new Quest when it comes out. But for now, I love my Quest 2, and I think it is definitely worth it to buy in 2023. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all so much.